Right, let's go chuck it down to the Everything's drying out, so we're going to get some sport roofs done. We've got a new problem. There is so much rock around here. I'm trying to work out where the crag is is an issue. I've got a grid reference, so we're trying to walk to that. It's that, no, it's not. It's that. No, no, it's that. Need it's some that. good navigation. I think it's over there. That's so lovely. Looking for new crags is always a challenge. Once you've found it, it's great. The problem is when you're on holiday, you tend to like do a crag. It takes for ages to find it. Do a few climbs and you bugger off and do something different. Um, in there. Right, can you see a red jacket? There she goes. Right down there. Any bolts on that? Oh. It's wet anyway. Oh, there it is. <laughs> Easy when you know how, eh? So the steep overhanging stuff is dry. Yeah. And this is probably, can you see bolts on there? And this is the broken bit with easier route for the kids. And of course, if it's um, slabby, it's going to be soaking wet. So, ay ay ay, Scottish sport climbing. Um, yeah, it's going to chuck it down again tonight. So this stuff's just going to get even wetter. Right. All right, should we get the kids to do this bit then? Simple little route, got some nice moves on it. Moving over rock is all I want, it's just that feeling of moving. Let's we'll see how Jack gets on. I think the hardest bit was around the first bolt. Oh, Come on. Yes. That's it, feet up, oh, well nice. done. Oh, I'm so happy. <laughs> Yeah. Give your foot where your hand was. So there's nothing on the rock to hold on to. Oh, you can move your foot. Yeah, you can see the river from up here. Yeah. You can see the river from up here. <laughs> Oh god. Oh I went full. <laughs> yeah, go. Oh. Oh god, I'm shaking. Oh god. Ah. Uh, almost to the chains. Oh. Oh. I missed. Oh, I did it! Oh! And slap the chains. <laughs> yes! <laughs> Jesus, that last move was so scary. Did I? Yeah. I have my feet Done. on the smallest thing. Ah. Annabelle's not really in the mood for climbing. Yeah, it's amazing what you can do in so, your spare uh, time. <laughs> she's been doing some art. Clever, isn't it? That's amazing. That's amazing. Yeah. I've never have seen that. Jeez, that's really good. Right. The temperature has dropped. The wind has picked up. There's a storm coming through soon, and we're getting the first edge of it. So Kim's going to do one route, and then we've got to cheese it before it rains. It's starting to rain. Oh, it's raining. Here comes the rain. Yeah, it's quite a muddy one. Maximum temperature 19 degrees C. Outlook for Wednesday to Friday. A few days with, it will be bright with a mixture of sunny spells and scattered showers. These locally heavy on Wednesday and Thursday. Rain arriving later Friday. Cooler and fresher than of late. You see any salmon? No salmon. What have you got? Raspberry. Just eat it, it's nice and fresh, isn't it? 
wild Scottish raspberries. Yeah. How's that nice? Mmm. So since it was chucking it down all night, the best walk to do after that is a waterfall walk. Sleep under a tree root. Yeah. Waterfall. Oh, no. ah. <laughs> ah. Is it actually quick sun? The sun's out. Oh. I haven't seen the sun for a at least a week. Feels nice. It's a bit bright though. Alright, let's go have a look on the pier, see if we can book a boat trip and find some coffee mm -hmm. and food. Food. South Wales is so far yeah. away. <laughs> I wonder if it's cold a bit. Too windy. I think it's going to be windy the next few days as well. Another geocache while we're here. Before it starts raining. Oh no, we're about to put it back. The muggles have turned up and sat down. Now we're scuppered. I think we've got away with that, not sure. Geocache is up there. Oh, okay. How do we get up there? Uh, is that a path? I think the last geocache today is Should have put me boots on We weren't fast enough, the rain got here before we found it. While we were finding that geocache, Annabelle had an itchy foot, so she took her boot off, scratched her foot while hopping around, and then stepped on a nail on a piece of upside down boardwalk. Well, we'll have a look at it. We had to look at it, it's okay. She can walk. We'll give it a clean out. And we check the internet about tetanus jabs. Pretty sure she's up to date. <laughs> Worth a try, isn't it? Try. Dad, do you remember those pajamas? So this is the weather we were waiting for. 
little walk out to a lighthouse today. Kim really likes lighthouses. We've got a teeny, teeny tiny view. Little, little bit of a view today. <laughs> a blue view. Lots of view. Um, the other thing we're doing is looking for whales. Whale watching. We're that far north that you get whales in the sea around this headland. I think we'll be a bit lucky if we spot one, but we got Robocop here. <laughs> oh, it reminds me of the one we went to in, um, um, where was it? It's not a cafe, like a, uh, like a place you can stay, like a... Oh. Seals, but no whales. Yet. So that's north. North. And where we're sat there. Islands up there, they're a bit off to north. But essentially, if you just kept going north, you'd miss everything and you'd hit the Arctic. So swim that way and then you hit the Arctic. Splash, there he is. <laughs> it's great. Right there. <laughs> you see it turn and splash. <laughs> This is where it, uh, it's where it gets to be. Alright, what if we get around right to that side? Jack says we need to buy an underwater drone. I think that's the shopping list. Underwater drone next year. <laughs> that would be so good down here. Yeah. There are two seals they've gone. Where have they gone? Stay away from that edge. Come on, there's a hole there. <laughs> You ain't seen me lately. Sorry, we'll leave you alone. Little Max pretending we haven't seen him. <laughs>